Hey guys, it's me, your friendly neighborhood Afro Hammerite, and today I'm gonna talk about basically just recording the TR6S into your door. Now there's a little bit of setup you have to do for this. One of the bits of setup that you have to do is you gotta install the drivers for the TR6S. You can get those from Roland's website. Yeah, this message is interrupted by me while I'm editing because I was a fool and recorded footage but forgot to tell you something. Um, so on the TR6S, there's a few settings you've got to turn on. You've got to turn on um, Tempo Sync. You've got to make sure that's either set to Auto or USB. Um, it's better to keep it on Auto because then when you unplug it, you can use it, you know, while you're sitting down. Also, you've got to make sure that Sync Tempo is set to On for Receive Start Stop. Um, if you have that off, then when you press play, it won't like, you know, play and stuff while you're recording. So, so make sure that those are set up um, and yeah, watch the rest of the video um, and all of the like, subscribe and stuff. Do that as well. Cool. So in your doors preferences, in the example of Ableton, you'll want to make sure that your audio input device is the TR6S. Um, you'll see it has eight inputs and four outputs. In Ableton in particular, you'll need to enable your inputs. So click input config and then make sure that you have inputs one to eight. Of course, depending on your door, you might not need to do input configuration. It might just decide to enable all of your inputs and then you select which ones you want to use. You also want to enable start stop sync um, and you want to make sure that you have sync being sent out to the TR6S on both the TR6S and TR6S control bits. Um, I do also have MIDI set up on both input and output for TR6S just to make it a bit easier because I don't know what could cause this not to work and it's easier just to be a bit more safe than sorry. So with all of that set up correctly, if you load a pattern into your TR6S, set your tempo for your door and then hit play, you should get the sound coming out of the TR6S. Nice. Now I'm dealing with an ungodly amount of latency so that I can record the audio for you. But of course, because you'll be using this with, you know, just headphones and your door, you'll find this a lot better. Your stereo track, your one and two, is pretty much your stereo output that you would get from headphones. So it includes all of your changes to your faders. So if I turn the snare drum and the hi-hats up only, I can then add in reverb or my delay through those little knobs that I have on the TR6S. I can also use master effects. So I can use my low pass filter and high pass filter effect I have or whatever one I want to load in. And it will still listen to things like scatter. So realistically, that's the way that you would record it if you wanted to record from the analog outputs at the back, but if you didn't have an audio interface or if you just wanted to record using the magic of digital audio without having to worry about a digital to analog converter and then another analog to digital converter to put it into your computer, you could just straight up use the TR6S and it would just do it for you. Now let's talk about these individual tracks. Um, so tracks three through eight are each of the individual channels on your TR6S. It gets to the sound before it gets to that top section of the TR6S where you control reverb, delay, and master effects, but it will still respond to things like tune and decay and whatever you have set up on your control knob. So if I were to play, and then I were to change the tune using the tune knob, of the kick drum, for example, you can hear that the kick drum's tune has changed. Same thing if I were to change the decay of the snare and my hat. Right. It also is affected by the sliders on the TR6S. So if I turn the bass drum down, then there is no sound for that track. If I turn it to halfway, then I only get my half volume. So if you were to think of it like a door, essentially 
those are grabbing everything post fader but before all of the master effects it does also mean that things like your performance controls will still work so if i turn on step loop it's still listening to step loop and it gets all of that audio so if you were doing a performance with multi-track you could still record at least some bits of you changing your variation using things like step loops um, using the instrument play buttons on the tr6s to play some sounds maybe even perform some roles that will still record through each of the individual tracks no problem the only issue that you have is when you are recording multi-track because scatter counts as a master effect that won't be recorded into the individual tracks you'd need to use your stereo output to get something like that which is a little bit of a shame but not too much you can also use the tr6s as a sound module through midi so if you want to do that um, there's two ways you can through Ableton at least. Um, most doors will have an external instrument plugin. Um, in fact, I know that Logic definitely does because I use that with the TR6S as well. And as long as you set the MIDI to go to the TR6S, um, normally I think it's channel 10, but channel 1 also seems to work. So let's give it a go. There we go. Yeah. Now you can absolutely use each track individually and record all of your instruments separately um, but if you just wanted to use your stereo you can just use external instruments set up with getting audio from your stereo input and just play everything from there instead benefit of course is that that gives you access to all of the master effects and things like scatter if you were playing that through everything as you needed to so you know that's pretty cool the second way you can set it up if you didn't want to use the external instrument plugin which is the easiest way to because you can just go no input and then just set it up to play everything as you want um, is you can make a MIDI track in Ableton and set it to send its MIDI out to the TR6S as you would with the external instrument plugin um, if I record enable that that's still sending all of the sound as I need to um, if I turn off external instrument just to prove it that's doing as it needs to to send the sound exactly the same way they both do the same thing it's just one involves using a plugin um, if you don't have external instrument on your copy of ableton this would be the only way that i would think to be able to set it up in which case you're welcome but yeah i hope you guys have found this um sort of like overview of using the tr6s with doors really useful if you have feel free to leave a like if you haven't it's fine you don't have to leave a like if you did have a listen to my dining table sessions there are a couple of videos of me just like playing around with the tr6s and also my mini log xd on my dining table because i don't have a desk thank you very much for listening and watching and enjoy the rest of your day and most importantly you know stay safe cool <laughs>